Gallop Racer, a horse racing game. I mean, it's such an obscure concept for a game, you know, to race horses. I mean, we've raced everything but horses in the video games. We've raised giant chickens, planes, various kinds of monsters. We've had games where people race on skateboards, just have foot races. But the thing that people actually race in real life the most, horses, you know, how many games actually race horses? The thing is, horse racing is an obscure sport for a reason, as I've learned with this game. See, a, a horse racing game could be just fantastic if it's racing, like, through actual environments, like, say, through a forest, where you're galloping and you have to make tight turns and you have to jump over rocks and turtles and bushes and you're actually racing against competition. I mean, like an actual race would be cool. This is more like betting racing, sports kinds of racing, just traditional horse racing. And that's not really that fun to play. I mean, it's something people bet on, but it's not a sport that people are like, yeah, this horse is amazing. I mean, some people do, obviously, but that's a very small, obscure part of the population. There's just not a lot about it. I mean, they're just racing in a circle. I'm not making any sharp turns. I'm just going basically forward and slightly to the left a little bit. This whole game is basically about which horse has the better stats. Some horses are good on one type of land, some horses are good on the other type of land. They have two different ratings. And you're supposed to get a horse that basically has a good rating on the type of land you're gonna race. It's a lot more confusing because there's a lot of other li different like stats, like insider horse racing things that you don't even know what's going on. Especially in the career menu, there's just too much going on. There's just so many horses to choose from. You can customize your jockey's like clothing, which is a bit weird. And there's like so much customization just to change your jockey's sweater. Like really, I spent like three minutes changing the integral parts of my jockey sweater like how's this even important you can like create your own horses and you can't just race the same horse in every single level there's a whole bunch of different types of races and there's prerequisites for different races like there is a prerequisite for how old the horse has to be before you race it there's a prerequisite for how heavy the horse can be before you race it I mean I ended up having to skip like three months in my career mode because I couldn't find a race that I could actually race in with the horse I bought it's just a lot of busy work it's a a lot of numbers I mean someone who really loves horse racing I mean I could see how this could be fun for you but for 99.9% .9 of the population especially the gaming population who just doesn't care about horse racing all of this is just a lot a lot of busy work and weird numbers floating around it's like I'm just watching the matrix numbers scroll down blonde brunette horse it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I kind of sort of got the hang of most of the important stuff in the career mode. Most of the ratings of the horses and most of the things I have to do to progress. As long as your horse's ratings are high enough, something like over 85-ish, you're golden. But even then, once you get into the gameplay, it gets pretty tough. I mean, like I said, it's not a traditional race. It's a horse race. You're not really maneuvering. I mean, you're maneuvering the horse a little bit to the left or right, but there's really no danger of crashing, and it's so easy to maneuver because you, you're basically, as I've said, just going forward and a little bit to the left. The strategy in this game is just paying attention to your horse's stamina and making sure your horse doesn't get tired. I mean, I could be ahead in the race for like 80% of the race, but then the horse just runs out of stamina and everyone just passes me by. And this whole game is just about stamina management. You're just watching numbers. There doesn't even need to be graphics in the game, really. This is a game for just pure horse racing fans. That small portion of the population that enjoys this kind of professional horse track racing. A horse racing game, as I've said, could be just amazing if you're galloping through a forest and jumping over things. Like, imagine it's a regular, like, off-road car racing game, but with horses. That would be cool. And it's nothing like that in this game. It's very restrictive. It is just pure traditional horse racing that people bet on. And that's just not fun to actually play. The graphics look great. The music is also fantastic. I mean, both the music and the graphics are worthy of a really fantastic racing game. But unfortunately, this is not a fantastic racing game. This is a game for a very niche market of people. For everyone else, it's just not fun. It gets an official Stan Bergman rating 
of a 5.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.